Well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Alright. I forgot to... For some reason, you have to click on the thing at the very beginning before it will take you to, like, the title screen. After the game itself loads. Yeah. Not for nothing, I really like the title screen music in this game, too. I don't know if... I'll have to check the jukebox for the, uh... What that's called, because I don't think it's welcome... No, that's not welcome to Valhalla. I've heard, uh... Yeah, Glitch City is the one that is, uh... At the very beginning of the... Or the, in that sequence there, but... Anyway, I do believe we bought everything that we needed, or or everything that we wanted, and checked everything. I check one more time here. Yeah, those are all the same. All right, <clears throat> go to work. Monday, December nineteenth. Good evening, Gil. Oh, hey guys. How did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? That's fair, he could have been dead if he didn't come back, according to him. I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. That's fair. See, Jill? He'll be here on Monday, like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? Oh, is she jealous? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What, are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? We did not get assaulted with a monstrous party this time, so that's nice. So you don't have to. Not today. Listen, I don't know who you really are, or what's trying to come back and bite you. But remember that there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Oh, that's kinda nice. Especially after everything broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that... normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Excuse me. Fine, fine. Hey, boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Maybe she forgot about it? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you'd look totally cute with it. That's... flattering. I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... preserving cuteness is one of my principles. And don't fight Dana on her principles. They have apparently laid the foundation for a really interesting person. Right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but, you know. All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best we can. Oh, yeah. True enough. Yeah. So cheer up. Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I like sharks smelling blood. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyway, let's start the day. Sorry, I'm, my stomach's being all weird. I was expecting, you know, unpleasant noises to come out of me, and they haven't yet. Okay, Neon Glow Lights is the little beginning sequence there. But I want to know... I want... I guess 
I don't pay enough attention to this song selection. That's not it. Who was I? That probably wasn't it. No. Troubling news? Gaze that invited wasn't. Ooh, memento. That's not it either. I'm pretty sure I've never had that song like on the background. Uh. You know, I'll switch one of these out for all systems go because that one sounds cool. The one that sounds like the Dire Dire Docks theme. This sounds almost like it. In a sense that it kind of reminded me of it, not that it sounded like, yes, that's it. March of the White Knights, isn't it? Neo Avatar? Love is a drug, obviously not it. <clears throat> Snowfall? I'm wasting so much time, this is a little stupid, and I apologize, but I'm just kind of curious. Dawn approaches. Metropolis, maybe? No. Digital drive's not it. Dusk? Skyline. Okay. I'm fairly certain we don't have it. Glitch City? Nope. There's always the outside possibility that it, the segment that plays at the title screen is actually a part in the middle of the song, and I'm just an idiot, and I've been <laughs> judging what I was looking for off of the first 10 seconds that it I wasted a bunch of time and I apologize. Anyway, time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Hmm. Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Oh. Friends. Friendship and stuff. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Oh. And the BTC logo thing. These the... She mentioned her him before god yeah dana mentioned him before just a sec boss some brian guy is looking for you tell him i'll be there in a bit <laughs> chill him yeah you heard her <laughs> oh that's hilarious it's all right i'll wait it's weird for someone to come asking for her though it's not so weird when you're the btc's regional manager in these parts yeah i guess that's um, I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. I'm pretty sure Dana gives him a decent impression on what to expect from the bar as a whole, if he has to deal with her on a consistent basis. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who I'm dealing with. See? I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyway. I do not have the best chair for optimal, like, recording when I don't want to be leaning forward. Because it's not like a, it's like one of those mushroom chair shaped 
type things. So, for my back to be resting anywhere, which is, I, you know, I feel like I am way too young to be complaining about back problems, but get sore after work and stuff. So, leaning forward into the mic all the time, or into the general, into the optimal mic zone, I guess, is uh, not always comfortable for me. handle me like I'm just another client. And in case I forgot to say this when I read the first one, at least he doesn't have a big head about his position. Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Alright. Sugar rush. Two Adelhide. One powder Delta and all of the karma trying that the cup can hold. Here you are. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why is that? They're like fr the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They are really simple, yeah. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. I am very cooking inept, but even I can manage eggs. Sugar rushes are simple enough to fall that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh, they never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? What'd she say? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? <laughs> Is the next bar I get to work at gonna be nearly this cool? Mostly concerning a closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? Disclosure any information? I only... That was a bad joke. <laughs> I only did it because he said closure warning a second ago. I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now where to start? You saw the news on the information linked during the leaked during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from pr criminal organizations in their ranks. Yeah, I remember them saying something about that. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. B someone... It was either... Dawson... I don't remember if it was Dawson or the weird scarf private eye dude talking about money laundering and bars being a thing. I think... I don't know. But it was one of them, I think. BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning white knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first. And paperwork is no bueno. Giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now. And and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspect. So, young. Young as in, that's like the people that are coming in. Like, young, younger people. Like, you know, 21 to 25-ish. As opposed to, like, middle-aged you get my point. Or is that like brand new bars that haven't, you know, had time to be corrupted by the system yet? Anyway, it's not just Valhalla. Any small bar with a small income is being investigated heavily right now. So, was it just a warning? Is it not even a definite thing that the closure is gonna happen? 
So the closure notice is due to low sales? Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. Hmm. We'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. <clears throat> really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. Aww. Shady, like one that's perhaps a drink called an eclipse. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. <laughs> this is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. Dude, I don't know why, but some days after work, when I put my jacket on, my arms get super itchy. And it's just like, for some reason, having sleeves on over top of it after some of this work dust, even though I've showered and everything. It just makes me itchy. This is one of the few pla- yeah, I already read that. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. What was- was that the- was that the dogs thing? <clears throat> so much saliva. I don't remember if they've brought that up before. I want to get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Aww. Oh. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book is a drink created here, right? Oh, the suplex. Yeah. I remembered that too. That wasn't me reading the line. <laughs> get me one of those, please. Sure. Alright. It'd be funny if there were like three or four variants of this. I know the pile driver is what this originally started life as, but it'd be funny if there was like three or four variants of the suplex as well. Just cause, you know, real life. On the rocks. And mixed. Alright, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Ta da! Here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. <laughs> At least it wasn't a broken neck. That's what usually that's usually what pile driver accidents are. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. <laughs> oh man. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. <laughs> what? Huh. I see. <laughs> okay, that was the weirdest bullet dodge cover ever. Alright. Sorry, Brian, I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although, yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Five stars. Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders? A top-notch bartender. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me? I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Oh, cool. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Stella! I never remember your name until I read it, and then I remember who you are. And I forgot to read the... I didn't even acknowledge what her dialogue was. I just kind of read her name and moved on. Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella. And get me a big beer, please. Uh, sure, hold on. Alright. Oh. I wonder... Oh, man. Now I'm on edge, because either Sai is going to be dead, missing, or alright. 
Oh yeah, I have to double this. And if Sai is alright, I'll be pretty happy, but if she's missing, that'll be a bummer. Or dead. Dead would be an even bigger bummer. <laughs> 